Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go I just wanted to do this real quick because I went ahead and opened up this smoke exhaust module so I'll cut this out and let it be its own little video to demonstrate how to hook on the smoke exhaust module in there we have some little please don't pull on that cord look stop stop move your foot that's why you're not allowed in here Okay, so they gave us a bunch of these little filters, which is really cool. So even if you don't have um, one of the extraction units, these will help uh, keep some of the smell down. So they give you eight of them, which is really nice. And what we do is we just put one right in there. We could probably cram a second one in there, honestly, but I bet you really only need one, but screw it, we'll put two in there. Uh, and obviously this can go however you want it to go. The has the thing has two squishies here. So you press those in to release it. Don't bump the camera over. And you can put it in there. Uh, I am going to, I don't think it matters which way you do it, but, yep, yeah, okay, so it doesn't, because if you look, guys, okay, so, since it has the plug here, or the little, whatever, pinouts, on the machine, you have one on each side, which means you can put it this way, or this way. Now, for me, on this table, uh, the extraction unit is going to be on the left side, so I'm going to go ahead and put it this way once I get this out of my way. So all you do, put the little filters in there. Like I said, you probably don't need two, but I'm going to put two anyway because I'm going to test it with and without the filtration unit. So we're going to see how well this does by itself, and then I'll put on the, the, the big extractor. There you go. She clicks right in place. Easy as that, guys. This really is a nice all-in-one contained little unit, so that's pretty cool. This thing extends pretty long, too. So we'll squish her all back in. But there you go. Quick and easy video on how to set up the, uh, the what do they call it? The smoke exhaust module. And that comes, I'm pretty sure that comes standard with the machine. The way it was packed in there, it didn't look like an add-on. So, there you go. Go ahead, stop. Go ahead, stop for me. You'll make me do a lot of editing. It's the same one you hit start with. Okay, boys and girls. Um, when we did the... Um, Trying to think of where I want to put these. Hey, go put these on top of my stackable uh, toolbox over there. Thank you. All right, when I did the unboxing, I forgot to go over this. There was one last box. I received three boxes. And I went ahead and opened it because I, I thought it might have... I didn't know what the hell it was. An air assist or something. I was being stupid. But um, it was a smaller box. When I opened it, it had these two in there and then this. So this is the um, ink module, which I didn't open yet. Can you get my knife? And this says M1 Ultra Rotary Blade. So this has the rotary blade in it. And this one has the foil transfer tip in it. So I have to learn which things those go into. My handy dandy DeWalt knife. Get DeWalt to sponsor me, that'd be good. <laughs> what? Um, do you care if he's missing the phone? Oh, now he's in the office. All right, so inside here we have another manual, lots to read today, and 
ink cartridge. And the inkjet module. So you notice there's lots of modules for all the different types of things we do. That's what makes this machine all in one. You just swap in and out modules. So if I remember correctly, when I saw on the video um, from Xtool, one of their videos that are in our affiliate uh, multimedia area um, did this real quick. But basically, oh, some more tape. Every time you open stuff, you're gonna look for the tapes. Take that off. A little door down there. All right, and then there's another door. I'm sure that's gonna come off when I take this piece of tape off. Please stop talking over me. All right, so you see that pops right off, and there's a little deal there. Which I'm guessing plugs in somewhere. So we'll learn that together too. I thought. Alright, that comes off, that comes up, and then I think that little piece there goes in there. But we'll we'll play with that when it's time to do some some printing. How do you get that out? If you get it out, I don't know. Maybe it's not supposed to come out. So there you go. I keep showing it. There's the ink module. Oh, that goes on top. Like that. And if we open up this little guy. A little bitty. Uh, package here. I'm opening it now because I'm going to open it later anyway because I definitely want to test out the ink stuff tonight. Teeny tiny little guy. Look at that. Stickers. Take the protective thing off. There's a piece of tape here you take off. But I don't want to uh, reveal the ink thing yet because I'm not ready to use it. So we'll leave that on just to keep it nice and uh, new. Put that back together. But yeah, so when it's time to install that in the machine, we'll, we'll go over that individually. So there you go. That's uh, those two things. There is a thing in there. happens when you get in a hurry. A lot to do. The thing has this. I'm guessing these are little testing things to yeah, like a little sticky notes but they're um, you just run your ink on it probably to get the ink head ready. So we'll read the manual on that. Let's put them back in the little baggie. Kid, let me know when my hands are not on the camera. I can't always see over there. And what was in there? Was this? I don't know what that goes to. We'll figure that out. Alright, now that's everything that was there. Jigsaw puzzle. Yep. Mm -hmm. Get a little of that crap out. Alright. There's that. Mm -hmm. Let's 
go ahead and open these just to see what they look like. I don't even know what they are. I do know what they well, are. Well, you do, but I don't. Foil transfer tip. So whenever we get that module set up, I'm, I'm pretty sure without opening all this, this you just stick up there in the module. It's the rotary module. This is the rotary blade. Very safe packaging. We got a bubble, like a bubble mailer. Inside there, and then another one. So this is for the, the cutting blade module. So that one was within the other box. So now we've now we've officially seen everything that uh, came with it. So go ahead and hit stop for me. Oh no, wait. Let's here put that in the trash. Since we're here, let's go ahead and we already opened the pins. Let's package up that green box, please. Put it in there. Let's see what this is. Triangular prism holder. I think I know what it is. You think you know what it is? Well, I don't know what it is, but I have a picture in my head that it could be. Not what I pictured. I thought it was a triangle. Turn that off. Alright, so... we got bars that are triangular. Can't really see on the camera. They are triangles, and then you have a holder. So I have no doubt that those things stick into here, go across the bed, and probably act like a knife bed for cutting. Right? I thought this thing came with a honeycomb. I didn't see a honeycomb. Maybe they're calling this a honeycomb. It's not, but. So you take one of these, stick them in there like that, and build it. And now you have an elevated surface that you can cut on so that you don't screw up the bottom of your laser bed. It's like in your big lasers. So, yep, just like in my big lasers. So basically a knife bed. Okay, that makes more sense. Now I know what that is. Because I don't see a honeycomb, so... I swear I read on there, somewhere on the internet, that it came with honeycomb, but I'd rather use this than a honeycomb anyway. Honeycombs are not good, believe it or not, so they trap debris and gases and all kinds of crap. Knife beds are way better. So this is a knife bed. I'm going to call it a knife bed. I'm not going to call it a triangular prism holder. <laughs> all right. There you go. Go ahead and hit stop for me, baby girl. I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of shit come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me